Hey guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to hide the navigation bar in Swift. So let me just create a quick demo project for you guys. Hide navigation bar. And I'll show you guys an example where you might want to use this. And it's actually really simple but yeah. So let's say this is your main view controller and you have um, you have another view controller so let's just add a quick button so you can move between them. But let's just put that in the middle. Embed a navigation bar in. Uh, so let's put that there. Let's add another view controller. And this isn't really like this isn't the view controller which I'm going to be taking the navigation bar away from. Because you would probably want it for this so you can swipe back. But let's just run this quickly. See how this works. So I'm not going to be taking the navigation bar off this one because you'd probably want it there. Because uh, click this, and yep, that's all working well. So let's say this was your main flow, like this, and then you had a side uh, navigation, but side view controller. So if you add um, like that, then you add that in over there, and let's add in, um, let's just say. Uh, let's move that button a little bit up so move right and I'll move this tiny bit up so it's like higher up uh, there actually actually wait let me just let me just replace these constraints with um, constraints to just be in the center so I can simply move it up like that and I'll change this to be 50. Oh, minus 50. Okay, let's run that. And now let's say, uh, let's add another button in to be uh, side view control or side flow. So uh, these are just kind of terms for your way your app is organized. Um, 50, 0, oh, wrong one, oopsies. Uh, let me just remove all the constraints. Uh, I want it 0 and 50. Sorry, this should take a bit shorter. But I'm just setting up the thing. So this is the one which goes to this view controller. And oh my god. So this will go here. And let's embed another navigation controller. So that it actually creates a new... A new... Um, like sheet, it comes up like that. So I'll show you guys what I mean by that. Uh, let's just make this uh, indigo. So now when we click the move up button, if we move right, it goes that way. And you'd want navigation there, but if you click this, it'll come up like this, and you might not want navigation bar here. So the way you fix that is, let's make a new Swift file for that new view controller which we created. Uh, just new file. Um, Coca Touch class, UI view controller, uh, side view controller. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to spell view controller. Uh, okay, let's just add that in here. Now let's uh, sync this view controller to that. And uh, this is just side view controller. And now what we can do is we can do in the view did load. All you have to do is you do um, self dot navigation controller dot navigation bar dot is hidden is equal to true, and let's run this. So if we click this navigation bar is still here. If we click this, there's no navigation bar. Uh, the thing about the navigation bar is if you don't have this, then the swipe back to go back won't actually work. So you should probably keep this in your uh, main flow. Then if you're bringing up a new view controller, you'd probably want to take it away. So this is how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in a future tutorial. Bye.